People come here, they work hard. That American dream that it, you know, it can be elusive, that you pave the way for you or your next generation, but you're always working towards something and there's all kinds of possibilities. I love that story. You know, you've done these great movies that are based on true stories, that have these great messages. What's your heart in doing those kind of thing? Well, I love true stories, you know. It, and this one, if it if it was a fiction, it would not be believable, you know. And uh, and it because it's true, you can't deny it. And uh, the the best things happen in true stories. I think I relate to them so much. And uh, this is the first movie out of uh, our production company that uh, my wife uh, and I started, Laura, along with our partner uh, Ben Howard. And we wanted to do, kind of brand ourselves doing uh, inspiring, aspirational, underdog, American dream stories. They, they've always appealed to me, you know, kind of in the vein of the rookie breaking away, even the parent trap, stuff like that. That's really kind of my wheelhouse. And so I want to do what I know. I love that. Um, you know, and I also like the aspect that it was about South America, you know, all these um, characters and my mom was actually from South America. So I kind of love oh, really? the aspect because I, um, you know, understood it to an extent. But, you know, it was such a great story because they're coming and they're trying to be a part of this club and there's that animosity. Um, but kind of talk about that and, you know, the whole message behind it in terms of, you know, getting getting them in the right place. Well, this, I mean, these, these boys, uh, you know, they grew up in Del Rio, Texas. They were caddies at a country club where they could not play, you know, because of their color, the segregation at, at that time. And, you know, add on to that, you know, the Mexican American boys are down on the border and they go across the border sometimes. And so in a, in a way you, you kind of grow up feeling like you're not accepted or belong in this country and also of go across the border to Mexico and don't feel really accepted or you belong there as well. So it's kind of walking a line with them. And this is, this is really kind of about the American dream and what it is to be an American and, and to chase that American dream. The boys, they you know, couldn't play at that country club because they, they love golf and they, built their own golf course out there in the in the desert with like one hole with several ways to come at it and they started a golf team in uh, their high school uh who was coached by the, the Jay Hernandez character he was a real guy uh, who coached them and I I was the I was the pro at that country club where they could not play but I I really felt for these kids because they saw how much they were sincere and genuine and 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 worked so hard at it. And I became the white face that got them signed up for these tournaments because, you know, the uh, Latino kids weren't even allowed to to play as, in uh, tournaments back then. But they won the Texas cha State Championship the very first year that they, uh, they uh, entered and they won it at the very country club where they were not allowed to play. I love that. And, you know, you're right, because there was a line that they say, you know, no matter what my country, like, I love my country, right? No matter yeah. what, it's that I, whatever I'm enduring. And my mom would have said the, the same. She loved 4th of July because she loved coming to America from Argentina. And so I thought that that was nice, the kind of the American dream. And stories like this kind of paved the way, right, for um, Latinos. And so I love that you're telling these this story. Um, yeah, well, it paved, paved the way for you, too, you know. And uh, people come here, they work hard. You know, they may not, a, that American dream that, it, you know, can be elusive or whatever. You uh, you pave the way for you or or your next generation or or whatever. But you're always working towards something. And there's... A, a feeling of all kinds of possibilities. That's why people come here. This, you know, I I love that story, and uh, this, this reminds us of about how far we've come. It also is good to 
remember and to like teach about where we were you know to a lot of people i mean i grew up during this time of uh during the 50s and 60s i remember a separate bathroom separate drinking fountain separate you uh, know places in the theater where you where you sat you know separate places on the bus all kinds of all that stuff i remember thinking this is weird way back then but that was you know that was that world that uh that uh, that I was born into, and um, so it does a good job of that. But I think mostly it, it just really this movie entertains and touches the heart. We won the uh, audience award at South by Southwest not this year, but the year before, and uh, it was very uh, encouraging uh, about how people, audience members, react to it. And I loved your character. He was kind of goofy. <laughs> yeah. He, he, you know, he said, we got to have fun too. You know, he's always encouraging the boys to have fun. Yeah. Um, but what would you say, like your character, you know, learned from it? Well, his, my character was, it, it was one of those guys that, that fought World War II and it came back, I think, kind of feeling a little lost, you know, never talked about their experiences over there and that generation, the greatest generation that really sacrificed a lot for us. Uh, and uh, they, uh, he's, you know, he's this club pro, he's got a drinking problem and he's just kind of going along to get along. But, you know, there's, I think these kids, they light a, a fire under him or something that he, He's willing to go out there, go out on a limb for them, and and uh, help them out. They they touch him, you know, something inside him. Well, is there anything you'd like to say specifically to the movie guide audience, or you know, the faith audience about you know receiving this movie and the messages in it? I sure appreciate audiences' uh, support over the years. This this kinds of film our our uh, production company is called Bonnie Dale. That's my mother's middle name. Mm -hmm. It means beautiful valley. Like I said, we we really are out to make inspirational, aspirational, faith based. I think that people go to the movies not to see things, but to feel things. The human experience that is feel close to each other. Fellowship here on God's green earth. If you enjoy videos that follow your values like ours and you want to help us continue, uh, go to movieguide.org slash donate because we're actually a nonprofit. You may not know that, but we're working in Hollywood every day to help families have more choices that follows their values. And also subscribe right now.